Hi students, so today we're going to talk about how to get any event approved on campus. Today I decided to do my event on prom and before we can plan prom, there are people we must um, command to to follow these instructions. The first is um, SEAL, Student Involvement Leadership, Chairman Director, the Athletic Director, Department Chairman, Advisor, and anyone over them like the Dean, who oversees all the campus activities. Next, let's talk about the venue. The venue would be in the Wildcat Center Gym. It would be from 9 to 1130 p.m. on March 18, 2018. We're expecting students from age 18 to 25 years old and a DJ who would be the, the background to keep the, the crowd hype and entertained. The location is 235 South Cedar Street, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28202. This building was built in 2010, so it's really new, and the building can hold over 2,000 people. The Wildcat Center Jump can hold 1,600 people. Next, let's talk about setup. So setting up, it's important to set up at least two to three hours in advance. So with our team, we're going to set up at 7 p.m. We have student volunteers to help coordinate the event. There will be two students in charge of scanning guests at the check-in table, Two people mentioned the buffet table, and they'd be refreshing the food, the drink, making sure the food's, you know, fresh, because we don't want any stale or, you know, food. We don't want to run low, because low food makes guests unhappy. Next, we're going to talk about our DJ. The event planner slash assistants are in charge for walking through the event to make sure everything runs smoothly. They're checking with the DJ, the guests, and Beeler at all times. Special effects, we would have some decorations like lights that are not too expensive. The candle lights that are like battery accessible, has some glitter, some gold, some pink. We'll be also renting lights from Party Reflection Stage Light that have a special effect. A DJ and photo booth backdrop would be also special effect for the event. Special seating. For students in a wheelchair or crushes, we want to make sure they have at least enough space to get through the event. Tickets, prices. This is a free rent. We're not going to charge you with students. We'll make it, you know, a good time and everything would be free food, free entertainment. Just we ask for everyone to come out, have a good time and, you know, be respectful of Joey policies. Now, the command group, at the top of the chain, we have our advisor who will be there for adult supervision. It's her role to make sure everyone's doing their job, we're organized, we have a plan, and we prepare for any situation. Next, we have our organizer slash the event planner slash assistant who are responsible for making sure the volunteers are doing their job, they are alert, they're not slacking, they're not doing anything wrong. We are on point. Next, we're going to have, let's talk about some issues. Let's say a student accidentally was drinking some lemonade by the food area and they, you know, were being a little bit sloppy and they got it on the floor and then someone comes behind them, slip and fall. If anything happens like this, we need to immediately get a wet floor sign and mop and then we need to make sure that guest is fine. Inform the advisor who is in charge of everything, the entire event. Have them fill out incident report form and hopefully they didn't, you know, bust, you know, a knee, whatever, you know, they okay. Next, we're going to talk about things that are not allowed in the gym. We are not allowing any backpacks, no hoverboards, no weapons. These things are not to be allowed because we want to make sure you are safe. If any student bring these items, they will be immediately escorted out the building. Next, let's talk about if it was um anything happened, like a fire or something big, dramatic happened, we can evacuate. The first thing is to get all guests in wheelchairs out of the building safe in crutches because they will be escorted out by a student volunteer. Next, we could get the DJ, the guests out. And then CMPD slash security, their roles to make sure they can direct people to the right and proper areas and make sure we're all good. Also, I have a risk management checklist that you would need for your event. This checklist has 
the v, um, v, basically like the name, the purpose, date and time. Also, whether we alcohol serve or no alcohol, the attendance, outside providers, which is anyone who pre-approved by in the school, like a vendor of a DJ. Also, there needs to be extra security hire, which is CMPD. And last not least, you need to have everything organized in documents. So, I hope this helps you with your party planning. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to your CAC Campus Activities Board. They can have some options or give you some ideas on how to create a successful, safe event. For more information, go on Student Involvement Network and look up some events that are not happening on campus so you can be the first one to plan those events. Thank you.